In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, the real deal. When you say that someone is the real deal, you mean that they are really good at something and you're kind of giving them a compliment. Sometimes when you're watching a sport, there might be a new younger player that starts to play. And after they score one or two goals, you might say, wow, he's the real deal or she's the real deal. So when you say someone is the real deal, you mean they're really good at it. Maybe you're watching a singing competition and someone comes on the stage and they start to sing and it's just amazing. It sounds beautiful. You might say, wow, she's the real deal or he's the real deal. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase, okay, here's the deal. This is a little phrase we sometimes say as English speakers before we explain something. So if you're wondering why snowmobiles went behind me, I can tell you this, here's the deal. The river freezes every winter. And then if there's a little bit of snow on the ice, the snowmobiles really, really, sorry, the snowmobilers really, really love it. So that's the deal. So we're not talking about a deal where you buy something. It's simply a little phrase we say before we explain something. Sometimes in my classroom, I'll say to students, okay, I got a plan for today. Here's the deal. The first thing you need to do is read this story and then you need to answer these questions. So to review, if you say that someone is the real deal, it means that they are really good at something and you're giving them a compliment. So if you say, wow, that skier is the real deal. I saw him ski down the hill in the Olympics and he's the real deal. He's awesome. And if you say to someone, okay, here's the deal. It's a little phrase you use just before you start to explain something. So sometimes I do this in my live streams. As the live stream is starting, I'll say, okay, here's the deal, everyone. Please use English in the chat. So even I use the phrase quite often. In fact, uh, I heard it the other day, Jen was explaining something to me and she said, okay, here's the deal. And then she explained what we had to do that day. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Koke. I think that's how you pronounce your name. And this comment really made me smile. Uh, the comment is this, you look like Ned Stark from the Game of Thrones series. I'm a dedicated follower of your channel. Absolutely, I like your content so, so much. Thank you for that compliment. My reply was, it's a real compliment to say that you think I look like him. Ned Stark was a very honorable character as well. I really liked him. Unfortunately, he met an untimely end, not only in Game of Thrones, but also when he played Boromir in The Lord of the Rings. So. Thank you, Koke, for that compliment. Uh, I'll put a picture up here of Ned Stark, or Sean Bean is the actor, actually. I'm not sure I look like him. He's a very handsome man, but thank you for the compliment anyways. Um, in my response, I used the phrase that he met an untimely end. When someone meets an untimely end, it means they die way too young. I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen to me, but certainly that happened to Boromir in The Lord of the Rings. If you've read those books, or if you've watched those movies, and certainly that happened to Ned Stark in the game in Game of Thrones. It just was not a good scene for him. And Ned was a very honorable character. He came from the north, he came down to the south to serve as the king's hand. That's kind of like the assistant to the king. Uh, and then things went horribly wrong for him. So if you haven't read Game of Thrones, or if you haven't read Lord of the Rings, they would be uh, fairly challenging for English learners, but they're they're pretty good. Uh, I like them. Uh, but the TV show of Game of Thrones or the movies for The Lord of the Rings would maybe be something you could watch. You do need to like fantasy. Fantasy uh, stories are about knights and kings and all of those kinds of people. Anyways, enough about that. Bob the Canadian here. I'll see you uh, tomorrow with another short English lesson.